So I thought I would try out a new foundation. Um, I didn't want to wear anything like too like full like high end or anything today. So I thought I would try out the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Up. It's supposed to be a 24 hour foundation. Um, let's see, it says high coverage and air light texture, so we will see about that. I got the color 305, which is natural beige. I've heard good things about this foundation, so I'm excited to try it out. You know I'm always on the hunt for like a good drugstore foundation. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first up, let me just put my hair out of the way here so it's not getting foundation all in it. I've already done my eyes, um, like I said, I just wanted to do like a really natural look. So I just got the Polite as, you know what, palette from ColourPop from Sephora. So today I just used the color Birthday Cake. Is that Birthday Cake? Yeah. I used Birthday Cake. It's just a really pretty like gold shimmer. I like to do that on my lid and then I'll go in with some bronzer and just put that in my crease. So it's just a really natural look but it actually looks like you tried. And then I'm using the, um, I just got this from Sephora as well. It's the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. And that is in the color, I think it's brownie, yeah. It's in the color brownie. So sometimes you know when you do like a black liner in your waterline can just look really harsh so I thought I would try a dark brown to see if that's better and then I got the Lancome Monsieur Big mascara that's my new favorite mascara that I'm using right now so that's what's going on for the eyes let's go ahead and get going on the face here now it is a little like oh it has like a little pointy in there it is a little squeezy tube so that kind of sucks sometimes I don't know if I should shake this up. Like, it feels really liquidy in there. We will shake that up just in case. Not totally positive. So, the only thing I don't like when foundations like this, like, I feel like you have to pour it out on something to, like, dip your beauty sponge or brush onto. Oh, it actually is, like, coming out really thick. It's, like, coming out in little, like, strings here. It's really, like, stringy. I have no idea how much to use so we'll just start with a little squeeze um, and then as always I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge y'all know that is my favorite it's really moussey like I'm dipping my beauty sponge into this and I feel like it's just matting it onto the um, paper here so I'll just start blotting that I hope this color is good too I don't it's weird you have to like scrape it off of the paper. You can't just like dip your foundation into it and pull it up. It's definitely, it sounded runny in the package, but it's definitely not. It's more of like a mousse consistency. So I will just start blending that into my skin. It actually does look like a, a pretty good color match for me. I'm not tan or anything at the moment. I am pale as can be blend all that in. So let me look in my mirror here. It doesn't look cakey. It actually looks really good. I'm very happy with the coverage. I'm very happy with the color. So yeah, I will let you guys know throughout the day how that is wearing. I'm going to set it with some powder. So I'm actually really liking the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. Um, I did a review on that collection. I can leave the video link up, uh, up above whatever I'm trying to say here so I just put a little bit out of the pan and then with my real techniques I think this is their highlighter brush I'll just blot some powder onto my face here I just like this brush because I just feel like it like precisely puts the powder where I want it because I don't want the powder all over my face I just want it where I get oily which is my t-zone area when you put too much powder, that's what makes you look cakey too. So I definitely am not going for the cake vibes here. Alrighty, so that is done. Now, oh, that's what I forgot was I forgot my bronzer. I always forget something. Every time I'm like, okay, now I have everything. I'm ready to film. And I forget something. Let me go get my bronzer. For bronzer, it's the same. If you've watched my videos, you know. It's going to be the e.l.f. St. Lucia bronzer with my Real Techniques powder brush. 
and I don't contour I just bronze up my face so do that up on my temples and cheeks and then down my neck like I said it's just a very natural no makeup makeup look today for some of you this might be like too much makeup you're like Rachel there's nothing no makeup about that for blush today I'm using the Rockateur blush from Benefit this is my Sonia Kashuk blush brush it's just a really pretty mauve color it's very light so it just gives a little bit of flush to the cheeks it doesn't make it look like you're wearing a ton of makeup or a ton of blush I should say and then you know me I love the NYX eyebrow pencil this is in the color what color are we ash brown so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick because I cannot do them this far so let me do that real quick alrighty so brows are done time to do some lips so now with my Sephora order I got a um, sample of some Dior Uhu bougie lip glosses so I'm gonna try those out today it's really cute it came like with a little brush and everything so they are the Dior let me know what this is Rouge Dior Bombs B-A-U-M-E I think that's how you say that and I'm gonna wear the color Lily today so that's just a really pretty like pink mauve and I don't know if they're lipsticks or if they're lip glosses we will try this out so I'm like I don't know if I need a liner or oh it's just like yeah they're like a lip balm duh Rachel that's called balm it's called Rouge Dior Balm duh but I mean this is cool because it's not like an actual lipstick it's just a tinted lip balm so that's awesome for you know a very natural look very creamy doesn't totally have a ton of pigment but it's like a natural lip your lips but better look see I really like that but I guarantee you if I like the if I look up the price I'm not gonna like the price <laughs> So I will stick with my drug, drugstore lip balms that are probably pretty much the same color. So yes, makeup is all done. I will let you guys know throughout the day how I think that this foundation wears. I think it looks really pretty right now. I'm definitely really happy with it. Um, I got this from Ulta, but you can also get you know any drugstore, CVS, Target, Walmart. And I want to say, I'll put the price here. I want to say it was around like 8 bucks or something. So I will let you guys know. So yeah, I will see you guys here in a few. Alright guys, I'm back and I have made my final conclusion on how I feel about the foundation. I didn't tell you what time I started filming. It was around like 11 o'clock and it is 4.10 right now. I haven't left my house. I've only been like cleaning the house and you know relaxing while the kids were taking a nap. So I haven't been doing anything like strenuous to where my makeup should be coming off. But I feel like they claim 24 hour coverage. There is no way that this is 24 hour coverage because my foundation I feel like it's already off. Like it's so patchy and you know my I can already just like see through my skin. So I'm just not I'm not happy with it at all. It's not oily or anything but it's just definitely not a full coverage long-lasting foundation like they claim. I'll keep using it, but I'm only going to use this foundation if, say, like, I'm just, like, around the house, running quick errands. Don't wear this foundation if you're, like, going to be taking pictures or if you need it to last, date night, anything like that, because it's not going to last. So this will just be, like, my no makeup makeup looks when I just want a little bit of something to put on my face so I don't look dead and tired and just you know help cover up some of my skin issues that I have so yeah that is my final conclusion I'm bummed I really liked it in the beginning but it just doesn't last very long so um, if you like this video if you like drugstore foundation don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have a favorite drugstore foundation let me know right now mine is the cover girl yeah mine is the cover girl ready set gorgeous foundation which I'm going to keep on using and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.